And if any of you are planning on hitting the trails with your ORVs this weekend, you may want to listen up. Fox UP reporter Rachel Droz spoke with officials to find out ways to stay safe on the ORV trails. Rachel's. Thanks, Ben. This year's ORV season is still young, and already there have been a handful of crashes in northern Michigan. I looked into ways to stay safe while operating and riding on ORVs. Before starting up your off-road vehicle, or ORV, and heading out to the trails, it's important to make sure you're doing everything you can to ensure a safe ride. According to the Michigan DNR, ORVs have been increasing in popularity over the past decade. This is leading to trails and recreational areas becoming more popular. This increased popularity makes knowing proper ORV safety very important. Some people may have ATVs or ORVs that are, that are too large for them to handle, too fast for them to handle. From 2010 to 2014, there have been 271 ORV-related crashes in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, claiming 13 lives. Obviously, when it comes to accidents, 95% or better accidents are attributed to speed that is too fast for the conditions or speed that is beyond the capabilities of the operator. Another way to stay safe while riding is to use safety equipment. A Marquette Power Sports employee says people don't utilize enough safety equipment. The more safety gear you have, the better protected you are and the longer experience you're going to have when you're out there on the trail. In Michigan, it's the law to wear a helmet while operating and riding on ORVs without Department of Transportation approved roll cages. It's also required that safety goggles be worn whenever there's no windshield on an ORV. In side-by-side -side ORVs, seatbelts are also required to be worn. We just ask that if you're going to operate any type of ORV in ATV, you, you use the, the appropriate safety equipment. Now, Sar Sergeant Waldron wanted me to remind ORV operators to never ride under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Not only is it illegal, but it's also extremely dangerous. And it's not just ORVs or ATVs, it's anything, uh, boats or snowmobiles, anything, definitely stay away from alcohol, any type of things that could put you under the influence. Right, anytime you're operating a motorized vehicle or boat or any type of thing like that, stay away from alcohol. All right, thanks, Rachel.